Ah, white throat sparrow is there. Birds, I guess. I always struggle to talk about sparrows because, quite frankly, they're kind of boring. They're the rice cakes of the bird world. They need to exist, but they're not exactly the most interesting things out there. White throat sparrows do have some redeeming features. I already talked about their equilibrium characteristics, sort of a genetic coin flip that determines their personality and looks in an earlier video. But another interesting thing about them is that a couple of years ago, across the entire continent, they mysteriously changed their song. Their typical song is a oh sweet Canada, Canada, Canada kind of thing. But a couple years ago, for some reason, they dropped a syllable, and this spread across the entire continent over the space of a single year. Birds do develop dialectual differences between geographic regions and will often have different songs between subspecies groups, but white-throated sparrows don't demonstrate that as clearly as a lot of other ones do. Their songs also aren't necessarily fixed in stone. They're something they learn early on in life, but they can occasionally modify them as needed. For instance, birds in louder, more human-dominated environments usually sing at a higher register that allows it to cut through the base thrum of human activity. However, with this white-throated sparrow change, there is no real apparent advantage to dropping a syllable of the song. It doesn't make it easier to sing, it doesn't make it carry better, there wasn't really any obvious selective pressure. All we can really conclude is that they just kinda liked it better.